So you should already know that weak acids are involved in an equilibrium. And in the previous chapter, what we looked at was calculating the concentration hydronium given an initial concentration of a weak acid. So now what we're going to do is say, what will happen to this equilibrium if we were to add some of the conjugate base of the weak acid? So this is going to follow Le Chatelier's principle, which means as we add in Cn minus to this equilibrium, the equilibrium is going to shift left, and as it shifts left, we're going to be using up hydronium. So this is called the common ion effect. So when a weak acid is in solution with its conjugate base, the concentration of hydronium tends to decrease. And what we're going to do is look at some calculations to show that this is true. So as we add in the conjugate base, so remember you can't just add in Cn minus, there needs to be some cation involved, so typically sodium or potassium. But in this case, as we're adding in sodium cyanide, we're adding Cn minus, um, that's going to cause the equilibrium to go to the left, and then that's going to cause our concentration of hydronium to, to decrease. So if we were to do the basic calculation where we started with a 1.0 molar um, solution of HCN, we would be able to calculate that the concentration of hydronium is 2.5 times 10 to the minus fifth. So now let's take a second and look at what's going to happen to that concentration of hydronium if we start out with a 0.10 molar solution of sodium cyanide, which is the same thing as saying 0.10 molar CN minus. So we're sticking with the same amount of our uh, weak acid, 1.0 molar, and then we're having a relatively small amount, 0 0.10 molar of our conjugate base CN minus. So if we look at this equilibrium, we're starting out with our 1 molar of HCN and 0.1 molar of our CN minus. We know that the equilibrium must go to the right because initially we have no hydronium in this equilibrium. So we know that some of the HCN X is disassociating to make X of hydronium and then 0 0.10 plus X of CN minus. So this calculation is very similar to the ones that we do um, when we're trying to find out the concentration of hydronium with a weak acid. We start out with our Ka, so products divided by reactants, and we plug in this algebraic expression into our equilibrium expression. So in this case, what we're going to do is instead of assuming one x is small, we're going to assume that both of these x's are small. So when we get rid of these x's, this calculation becomes much simpler. And what we do is we solve for x in this case. So x, as we stated up here, is equal to our concentration of hydronium, which is 6.2 times 10 to the minus 9th. So without the conjugate base, it was 2.5 times 10 to the minus 5th with the conjugate base 6.2 times 10 to the minus 9th. So you can see it's quite a bit of a drop of the concentration of hydronium by having the conjugate base inside of there. And that's called the common ion effect. So this idea is something that we're going to build off and, and it's going to lead into our discussion of buffers. So, th so the same thing is true with weak bases and their conjugate acid. So say here we have this uh, KB expression here where ammonia is reacting with water to make ammonium and hydroxide, the conjugate acid now is ammonium. So if I was to add ammonium to this equilibrium, say in the form of ammonium chloride, uh, Le Chatelier's principle says the equilibrium would go to the left and the concentration of a hydroxide would decrease. So the ammonia would actually, the ammonia equilibrium would actually produce less hydroxide. So even in basic equilibria, there is the common ion effect.